Hello, this is Mike at Gay from Scratch, and welcome to a quick Blender tutorial or tip. It's somewhere in the middle. What we're looking at today is weight painting in Blender. You see, I'm actually running into a real world problem. I decided I'd turn this into a video as we went. Uh, I'm working on a sprite sheet for, well, you guys actually. I'm, I'm trying to create some open source sprites. So if you're creating a new game and you need some stuff to get started with just placeholder art, you're going to have something to work with. So it's a, like a run, cycle, jump, that kind of stuff. Uh, in fact, you can see it right here. Here is the guy that I'm ultimately creating. Let me just collapse it over so you can see. And he's got several different animations. So he's got an idle, uh, he's got a walk, a jump, a jump, a roll, a duck, etc. Now what you might notice though, as we're going through this, let's go back to the jump. Yeah, let's go back to the jump and I'll get ready to pause. Jump. All right, see, look at his leg. That's not right. This is not what we want to see happen. You can see it right here, midpoint of the jump. That deformation is not good. And that is where weight painting comes in. Now you see this guy's ultimately um, being controlled by an armature. So behind the scenes on this guy. So I'll go in here, uh, select my character, I'll go to here and I will show you x-ray mode. So these are the bones that are controlling this character. And I have a tutorial that covers all of this stuff. I'll link it down below. So if you want to learn more about animating in Blender in general, it, it's available to you. Just check the, the comments down below and you can find out all about bones and armatures and parenting them to meshes, etc. But what we've got here is this skeleton or parts of the skeleton is controlling this mesh. So this character is actually made up of multiple uh, pieces. Part of it is the pants or the bottoms here. Uh, this mesh was actually made by um, Fuse and sent up to Mixamo. So I need to do a little bit of cleanup on it so that this animation, that this bend isn't happening the way it is. This is obviously not good. So that's what we're looking at today. And in order to do this, it's not the most intuitive process in the world. So I figured I would cover it. And what we're doing is something called um, weight painting. Uh, and all this really is, is, if you look down here, we've got all these various bones attached to vertex groups and they manipulate uh, vertices within that group. And you can do this at, like I can go down to the vertices by vertices level, but there's hundreds of vertices or thousands of vertices in a mesh. And that is very in, um, inefficient. So generally what you actually do is paint it. So that's what we're going to do today. We've got our model selected. We've got our pants selected. So now I'm going to go into edit mode and okay. Uh, I want to select uh, my right leg. And we will go to paint weights. Okay, so with my right leg selected and my bottom selected, so I'm gonna do the right leg first. Here you can see, we'll zoom in here. Let me just switch to not camera mode. So we can zoom in and here's how you can see how the weights are influenced. So basically if it's red, um, it's full influence. So we're looking at uh, the right leg, the lower part of the right leg, it's fully influencing the red vertices and a little bit less on the yellows, etc. So you can see we've got a little bit of influence going on up here and that's where this problem's coming in. We wanna get rid of all of this influence here. So I look here, here's the upper leg instead. All right, so what we wanna do is change it so that in this case, the easiest thing I'm gonna do is make it so that my right leg lower, like this guy right here, has no influence on this guy. So we're in weight painting mode. Just bring up the tools menu like so. And see how it's got, we're in the draw for the brush. We're just gonna bring this, instead of weight at full, we're gonna bring the weight down to nothing. And you see my radius is here. I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting the mesh. And you can see it's, it's updating the, the, the deformation in real time. So you wanna make sure you get all the way around. Like so, and we'll clean you up. Make sure we don't have any weird legacies down there. Okay, so now the influence on our bone is much better. We don't have that weird warping and tearing. Now we want to do the same thing for the left leg. And then, same deal, just want to remove the influence of that bottom bone on the top leg, or at least reduce it greatly. Like so. And that should be about it. Okay, so now there is no influence. That lower bone, this bone, has very little influence on the on the vertices of this mesh. And that's really all that you're doing when you're painting weights. You're, you select the bone you wanna deal with and then the underlying mesh you're working with, unless there's of course only one mesh for your model. And then you just paint how it's gonna influence with red being full, blue being none. And we could go back, we could add influence just this way and painting, which of course would undo what I did. And that's it. 
So like I said, though, you could also apply them individually if you really, really wanted to. You could go into vertices mode, select each particular vertex, and select the weight over here, gigantic paint. So most of the time, you're just going to want to go ahead and paint it like I did there. So now that we've got this guy painted, we can go ahead and press play, and you will now see it doesn't have those weird deformations as it moves. We're now all very good, other than the fact that I screwed up my camera. There we go. So you see that was a very simple modification and now our deformations work right. We don't have any of those weird uh, bending when we get up to the top of our jump. Our leg doesn't distort nearly as bad as it did. It still looks a little weird. So you probably wanna have a little bit of influence this bone at the top weight here to bring it up, etc. But it's a heck of a lot cleaner. It does not look nearly as wacko or deformed as it did in the other shot. So mission accomplished. Uh, so that's um, weight painting in Blender. Like I said, I'm not expecting you to understand what an armature is or how bones work or anything like that. Uh, just a quick animation lesson is bones influences the mesh, the weights influence how the vertices apply to each particular bone. And this is the building block of animation in just about every single animation system under the sun. So if you're new to animation, you learned something today. If you're uh, somewhat new to Blender, welcome to weight painting. Very, very valuable tool. Now keep in mind when you originally bind your skeleton, you can actually have it create the weights for you and it does a pretty good job so normally all you're doing is a little bit of cleanup at the end of the day and that's exactly the process we just did all right that's it uh back to normal uh by the way i'll be releasing a sprite sheet very soon you've seen a preview of the uh, work in progress and i'm going to create it as um, texture atlases and uh, already packed so you can drop it into whatever game engine you want i'll make that link available on game from scratch very very soon i uh, hope you enjoyed that see y'all later